Have you seen those cool command palettes in programs like VS Code or Figma? Well, I wanted the same thing for Illustrator, so check this out. AI command palette lets you access almost every Illustrator menu command. Want to see them all? Go to the settings and built-in commands. There's a little more than 500 of them. To get to a command, simply type its name, file new. Let's make a new file. Let's close that file, file close. You can see just how fast you can access commands. Navigating the palette is pretty straightforward. When you type something, you can easily move up and down using the arrow keys. You can select anything with the enter key. You can also select anything by double clicking it. Or you can select it by hitting the OK. To exit, you can easily hit cancel or hit the escape key. Let's do a better option. Say you wanted to blend these three circles. Now there's numerous ways to go about this. You could use the keyboard shortcut. Works great, but you have to remember it. You could use the blend tool, or you can use the menu system. Problem is you'll see the menu system's quite buried. So you have to do lots of clicking, which can be slow. So we're gonna make a blend. Here's a problem. We don't have enough circles. So to change that, you could go to the blend tool. You could update the steps here, or you go to the blend options. As you'll see, there's no keyboard shortcut for that, so you have to click. Let's up it to 30. There we go. We like what we have. Now we want to expand this out. There's a couple other ways to do that. I'm just going to use the menu system, so blend, expand. So now we have our circles. Let's redo this using the command palette. So we'll pull it up. We'll say blend make. We've got our blend. We want to add more circles, we'll say blend options, hop over and go back to 30. We want to expand it, we'll say blend expand. There we go. As you can see, that's much faster and efficient. Another awesome thing that AI Command Palette allows you to do is to combine those actions into one custom action. You can get there by going to the settings, and we're going to build a custom command. As you can see, you have all your actions and menu commands listed here. Let's remake the commands we just did. So we're going to go to blend make. We'll double click it to add it down here to our custom steps. We'll go to blend options. We'll double click that to add it down there. And then we'll say blend expand. Double click it to add it down there. We're going to name this. Let's see. Blend it up. And we'll go OK. So now when you pull up your command palette, you'll see it's already there. By default, command palette will show any of your custom commands and any scripts you have loaded. To run it, you can hit enter or double click it. Ask us for our steps. Let's go back to 30. Boom. Done. You can see just how powerful this can get. Let me show you another example. Here's a file that's going to be screen printed. Every time I send one of these files out, I need to add registration marks, some color information, and clean up the file a bit. This is a multi-step process, but using AI Command Palette, it's way easier. First, let's load a script. Here's my screen set mark script. We'll load that. As you can see, here it is listed here. I also like to use an action that comes by default called delete unused panel items. So we could just run our script from here. Load of all of our color information, registration marks, that all works great. But let's build a custom command. So we're going to go back into settings, build custom command. What's really cool is a script can be part of your command. So the first thing we're going to do is delete unused panel items. We're going to add that action. Next thing we're going to do is run our script. So screen set marks. And we're going to save this as finalize screen print file. Hit OK. Now we can do all in one step. 
Here it is, finalized screen print file. It's gonna run the action that cleans up all of our colors. As you can see, only our black, our pink, and our garment are there. And it's gonna run the script that adds in our color information and our registration marks. These are simple examples, but you can get way more advanced combining multiple scripts, multiple actions, and menu commands all in one custom command. Let's review the settings real fast. There's a few key things in here I would like to show you. First is load scripts. I just showed you how this works, but basically you pick any script on your system. As long as that script stays in the same place on your system, AI Command Palette will execute it for you. You can view all the built-in commands. Say there are some commands you don't want to see. That's pretty easy. You come in here to hide built-in commands. You can either search or scroll and find. Let's hide all of the file commands for now, just so you can see how this works. File new through file exit. We're going to hit OK. It's going to hide all of those commands. Once you confirm that, 24 have been hidden. If we go back in now and I type file new, you can see it doesn't show up anymore. If you ever want to bring those back, pretty simple. You can go into settings or just type unhide built-in command. And then here are all the commands that are hidden. So let's just unhide all of them. You can select multiple with the shift key. Yep, we're going to unhide every one of those. Now if we bring it back in, I'll type file new. You can see it's right there. Another important setting is deleting commands. Say you don't like that custom command we just made, so you can select it, hit OK, delete it. Now if you come back to your command palette, you'll see it's gone. All your command palette settings are saved on a preferences file. You can easily access this file in your settings, reveal preferences file, and you can see it's right here. It's a JSON-like file that keeps up with every single thing you've saved. Some menu commands simply aren't available to the API, so in that case, I like to create custom actions to get to nested menu commands. Say I wanted to create a circle and change its fill color to a Pantone color. If I come in and type Pantone, you'll see that nothing comes up because that menu is not available to the API. And as you can see, if I want to get to the Pantone swatches palette, it's a long process. Window. All the way to the bottom, swatch libraries, color books, Pantone, solid coded. So now we have it. Way too long. So let's build an action. Menu items, action set. We're going to make a new action. We're going to call this Pantone, solid coded. We're going to record. And here's the key. We're going to insert a menu item. We're going to say Pantone plus solid coded. We're going to find that. Bam. There it is. Okay, great. We can stop this. Now, for it to be accessible, we're going to have to close Illustrator and come back. And right back where we left off. Now, as you can see, the action's been saved and it's accessible through the command palette. So if we type Pantone, there it is. This was just a brief intro of what AI Command Palette can do. I have some more feature ideas that I hope to implement soon. Thanks for watching.